I was jammed at Evolution. It's so good. Thank you. And it's very raw, but it's very catchy. Kelly Clarkson had high praise for Sheryl Crow after she listened to Sheryl's new album, Evolution, which came out last Friday. And this wasn't just Kelly reading off a teleprompter or something like that, no. She clearly listened because she named off her favorite tracks. I will say, do it again. Get up and I'll do it again. Where? Is that one of the last yes, ones? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those just stuck out to me. They're so good. We will keep dancing through tomorrow. Your so voice on that. where is so beautiful. Always. It's called Evolution. It's so incredible. I love Evolution as well, by the way. Evolution changing. That's three. <laughs> yeah, Kelly was a big fan of it. The reviews were a little bit more mixed. Rolling Stone gave it 80, saying, the new album is retro show chrome, we're fine with that, and calls the collection of songs a return to Bill Clinton era pop rock basics. Okay. So the album asks a lot of questions. I mean, it sounds like a heavy album, but it's not. It's really a fun album. All Music Agrees also giving it four to five, saying, it's filled with sunny hooks, busy rhymes, and relaxed rhythms. Evolution is a good time, whose cheerfulness camouflages its vaguely deeper undercurrents. I think that you're great at that, though. You have this very beautiful gift of like going deep with the lyrics and the messaging, but making it light and fun to sing. Pitchfork didn't like it as much. They gave it six, saying, three decades into her career, Sheryl Crow is arguably a genre unto herself. Her new album sometimes makes her singular appeal feel generic. That's interesting. Well, Kelly kind of describes the Sheryl Crow genre. It's all got really great grooves, great vibes. The yeah. rhythm guitar is really cool throughout it. Classic Rock Magazine also gave it 60, saying, it all becomes a bit by numbers. Sheryl Crow fails to evolve on an unambitious evolution album. It starts strongly, but soon falters. The coolest thing is everything sounds different. Listen to the whole record from start to finish. Do it. We challenge do you. Do it. We challenge. I dare you to do it. So this is album number 12 for Sheryl. I love albums, so I love Sheryl. Yeah, she had an incredible run of albums at the beginning of her career. So, Tuesday Night Music Club, Show Crow, Globe Sessions, Come On, Come On, amazing four albums. Yeah, perfect. She faltered with Wildflowers a little bit, then back to Fantastic with Detours. Hope for Christmas, awesome. 100 Miles to Memphis wasn't quite on that level, but it still was very good. Then from there, things falter. Her official country album, Feels Like Home, was okay. I did not get into Be Myself at all. That's her weakest album for me. And then she said she was wrapping it up with Threads, her final album. It was all collabs and it was fantastic. Yeah, so she's ended on a very, very strong note. And I was fine with her not doing another full album because, I mean, yeah, she's given us eight fantastic albums. Um, yeah, so when she announced this one, this felt like a bonus to me. On a first listen, meh. I really like Love Life. I love this life. Yeah, Where is Pretty. The rest of it, like, nothing's terrible. Just like, yeah, it's all... Meh. Um, yeah, nothing really grabbed me. It's all just kind of very, like, kind of background noise. And some of the songs reminded me of other Sheryl Crow songs that I like a lot more. That's why I hate my alarm clock. That's why I hate my... Yeah, I didn't really need this album. Um, that being said, this doesn't take away from Sheryl at all. Sheryl's a legend. Yeah, she's, she's done all the, everything she needs to do. Other than Love Life, these eight songs don't really need to be added to the Sheryl Crow library for me. I need to give this album a C plus. But yeah, Kelly really liked it. What are your thoughts? I love your lyrics so much. Thank you. Yes.